SBR Boxing. We are back myself and Niall at this late hour. We are bringing you reaction to scenes at York Hall, which saw a headline fight between Isaac Chamberlain and Mikhail Lawal finish with Chamberlain prevailing by unanimous decision. Uh, scorecards 118-110, uh, 119-109, and sorry, 118-111 times two, sorry. So um, getting straight into it, Niall, um, I think for, you know the, the the sort of prevailing sentiment that seems to be coming out of your call actually is that the fight was fairly uninspiring. There's quite a you know a sort of tempered build which suggested it it might you know include more fireworks than what we actually saw. Um, your general reaction to the fight, please, and then we'll sort of tuck into I suppose a little bit of what's next and and where may, both men go from here. Yeah, it definitely didn't. Uh, it definitely didn't live up to the expectations. You know, I was I was actually quite looking forward to this even after I got moved to your call. I th- I thought even better. Like you know. I was, British title fight, you know, great domestic dust up, but it didn't play out that way. Fair play to Chamberlain, he done a job, but Lowell just there was something off with him. He looked flat. He was way too uninspiring. You know, it was it wasn't a great spectacle at all, to be honest. Uh, unfortunately, but as I say, fair play to Chamberlain, new British champion. He he dominated that without having to really go up through too many gears, to be honest, which is surprising. Let's um, touch on Isaac Chamberlain then, obviously, like you say, British champion. He shared the ring, obviously, with um, with Chris Billum smith uh, lost that fight. Um, also shared the ring with Lawrence Coley, uh, lost that fight as well. Both UD losses, though. Um, just going to give a quick sort of yes or no uh, answer to this one, really. Maybe flesh it out slightly if you'd like to. But do you think um, Isaac Chamberlain can ever become a world champion, Niall? I do, to be honest. And if he goes, it's, if he goes down to the avenue of rematch and Billum Smith like that was a great fight so if it was to be a world title next I, I'd have no problem with seeing that rematch with Billum Smith you know maybe in maybe in Bournemouth again the, the stadium that Billum Smith beat the, beat the Coley in but I really like Chamberlain I always have I think he has there's something about his style that's very pleasing you know he's technically sound good crisp jab the only thing that might hold him back is he's not the biggest puncher in the world but I've always liked watching him, you know, ever since he beat Camacho with the dislocated shoulder. It was that kind of endeared him to a lot of people. And the Akoli fight was a stinker, but Akoli has stinker <laughs> with pretty much everybody he gets in the ring with. So I can't hold that against him too much. But yeah, I do think he can he can become a world champion. He has the talent, you know, to it's a very good division. You know, there's some good fighters there, but I think he has the talent to do it. I do think his best, as I mentioned, his best avenue will be a, a Bill and Smith rematch. To be let's, honest. let's touch, I suppose, on, like you say, he's ranked, I think he's ranked number four now, uh, British cruiserweights, uh, above him being a Coley, Rick, Paul, and Bill and Smith. Um, you said, obviously, that we'd give him a fair shot against against Chris Bill and Smith. Do you think out of those three names that, that Bill and Smith fight would be the easiest for Chamberlain? I mean, it would be an easy fight, but do you reckon he'd he'd prevail better against Bill and Smith than he would against Rhea Poor or Lawrence Coley? Or do you think if it was to be a British fight uh, next for, for Isaac Chamberlain that he would fare better against either a Coley or Rhea Poor? Well, the Coley fight, I don't think we need to see that again, to be honest. that was We've been there, done that, I know it was early in their careers, but I don't want to... I don't want to say that again, not to be too disrespectful to to a Coley. You know, a Coley is a good fighter in his own right, but now it just it didn't it didn't work stylistically, it just didn't work at all. Uh React Power is another great fight. I think I'd actually I may be slightly edge him against React Power than I would Bill and Smith, but they're two great fights, domestically especially. And there was another there's another option that he could take, which I was thinking of to fight the winner of uh, Tommy McCarthy and Michael Cieslak, you know, they're fighting for the European title now in a few weeks. So I think whoever comes through that, I'd love to see them fight Chamberlain as well, if that was to happen next for the European title. So there is a lot of good options for him there, you know. Uh, and he'd, he'd hold his own against any of them. He's already proved against Billum Smith, as we mentioned, but the other two react for and either McCarthy or Cieslak, I think they're great fights. So yeah, I'm excited to see what's next for Chamberlain. To be honest, no, you're um, you know, you're a proud Irishman. I'm not going to let you get away here. Have you mentioned Tommy McCarthy? And there's other there's other Irish lads at the at the channel as well that are Tommy McCarthy fans. If Chamberlain fought McCarthy, um, say McCarthy comes through that fight and they fought next, would you would you lean towards McCarthy or would you lean towards Chamberlain? 
It's a horrible question to ask you now, but I'm going to have to ask you. It is a horrible question, yeah, and it might be a bit of a biased answer, but I, I'd edge uh, McCarthy to beat him. I think it's a great fight, but I'd edge McCarthy to beat him, and I do think McCarthy will come through against uh, Cheslek. He should do. So if that was to happen next, I'd have to stick with uh, McCarthy if my Irish tinted glasses were. were... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, no problem for you. you, you look, those Irish tinted glasses, I know that look, looks superb um, on those. And I think um, we'll come to... No, we'll come to now, I suppose, let's talk about, I suppose, the loser tonight, obviously, you know, former, obviously, British Cruiserweight champion, Mikhail Lawal. Like you said, didn't really get going tonight. Um, It was a bit of a messy fight. Got going a bit too late. When I say got going, it looked quite panicked, didn't he, in, in there towards the end, frankly. He looked quite desperate. His level, do you see him, do you see him sort of being at that kind of British level? Do you see him being able to jump from that? Or do you see him kind of being, obviously, like, you know, below the likes we're talking about, obviously, of Chamberlain, of Chamberlain's you did him tonight, but against those other cruise weights, do you see him being noticeably below that? And for him as well, really, do you see, where is his level and where would you also like to see him go next? Would you like to see him sort of stick around that British level, maybe, get to, like you say, European level? How far do you think he can go? Yeah, it was, um, it, it was definitely way below his level tonight, you know, even though it was, it was touted as being much closer than it was. There was something just so off about him tonight. He was so flat. I don't know, was he was he injured or what? Was he carrying something? It was just, he couldn't seem to get going at all. Just so uninspired and lethargic. So uh, I'd, I'd like to think he does have a chance to kind of come back to British level or even Commonwealth or European. But the fact that he was so decisively beaten, you know, so comfortable, that has to be worrying. You know, uh, yeah, it's just if 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 he had a lost in a a war or a more not even a war, a more contested fight. That, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, yeah, a more contested fight than tonight. Um, it'd look more optimistic for him, but you never know. You never know. No, no I totally agree with you. Actually, I think. I don't know if I keep calling you Owen. I've got Owen on my mind, but your name is Niall. Yeah. Um, um, I think the reason I've got Owen on my mind is because I always think about retirement of fighters whenever they lose, and I think Niall's, <laughs> Niall's like Owen is always the one that calls for that. Um, so, uh, Niall, no, I totally agree with you, actually. I think um, he has kind of found his level. He was decidedly beaten tonight, and again, I also feel like you need to sort of rebuild. And like you said, also in the build-up as well, the way, the, you know, the sort of promise... And the sort of um that he was, you know, the, the game plan that he was suggesting he was going to bring tonight, which didn't necessarily happen either, to me is disappointing. And it'd be, it'd be, I suppose, a longer road to see him come back, frankly, to be honest with you. And when we next see him in a kind of big fight, it'll be interesting to see um from a sort of boxer, Sky and um, Lowell perspective. Niall, <clears throat> we'll finish it there. Um, exciting division, like you say, there's a lot of Brits in and around that division. There's obviously the Irishman McCarthy in there that you've thrown in, which you've shoehorned in commendably. Uh, into I, had this. To, I had to get the Irish uh, connection in there. So, very exciting <laughs> division. Um, and we're interested to see obviously where Chamberlain goes from here as well, where how far he can go, how far he can step up, and whether there's some of those domestic fights will happen again. Niall, thank you very much for your time. Guys, leave comments. Obviously, you know, let us know whether you agree with us, disagree with us, who necessarily like to see Chamberlain fight next, who you'd like to see out of all those kind of. British, you know, cruiserweights fight next, or even, you know, throwing in other champions in the division, who would fare against two, et cetera, et cetera. We'll have obviously, you know, other other sort of preview and review content coming up from both events over the coming week. Niall, as I've said again, thank you very much for joining me. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Cheers, take care, all the best.